and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be seeing, is gambling materia worth it? And as always, hello from Ulri for once. And um, basically, I had all the spare materia left over from so many previous patches in the FC and for so many other reasons. All these like strength and mind, intelligence and vitality and battle dance and quick arm and so on. But again, in this patch, materia prices have completely switched. So there was a time when things like strength materia and vitality material were worth a huge amount, but now they're actually pretty much worthless. But let me show you that. The grade 4 strength, the 10k or less on this server. Vitality is 5k or less than 10k, basically. I'm probably going to buy these if I have the money. Oh, I have the money. And, um, like dexterity. Sorry, that's dexterity 3. Dexterity 4, what you can. Let's see what's worth. Less than 10k, and so on. So, what you can actually do, you can take 5 materia, and let's see, quick tongue and these. So the spell speed and the whatever material. So battle dance for, oh, like how to click video. No, less than 10k and so on. Now the reason we're interested basically is because, and again, 10k or less, and yeah, there's well, quick tongue but a bit more. But these ones, these quick tongue and quick arm, they they've never sold properly, like ever. So. Yeah. Now, the reason we're interested in materia for this patch is because you need the elemental materia, so like fire, ice, wind, earth, lightning, and so on, to do the next part of the relic upgrade quest. So, um, so let's take a look. So, for example, water is 43k, lightning is 80k, and earth is 80k, wind, 75k, ice. 50, 43k and so on and so on so what you basically do uh, with the gambling you need to go to um, central final land to black Rock station and you, we need to go visit bubbly pots and what he can do is he can take five random materia and give you one at random of the same grade so if we put in for example five grade fours then he will also then give us back in return a grade four of a, a random grade four. And the trick to it basically is, is that he will never give you back a materia you put in. So by us doing lots of these different materials, say one of each, then we vastly increase, increase our chances that it will be a materia which is not one of those five, basically, simple as that. And the goal is, is to convert all of these, which are worth 10k or less, into those ones which are worth 80k or more so in good situations we could make 30k profit in bad situations we're going to just lose lots of money so that's why i'm investigating this to see is it worth it yes or no that's what we're trying to investigate here so um yeah so me being uh, an idiot i can't actually do it on this character probably or can i okay i can good so um, basically what you you do, you go to Bubbly Pots, you select Transmute Materia, and you said you have to put in five, but do five random ones. So for this one, we'll put in one, one Strength, one Vitality. It's amazing to feel like the, these Vitality and Strength, they used to be worth so much, but now they're absolutely worthless. Then one Dext, and let's do one Quick Arm. And one quick tongue. Okay, five randoms. Um, yes. And the thing is, there is a tiny, 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 tiny chance that he could give you a grade five, but it's very, very small. Incredibly small chance. So it's not something that is even worth trying for. Okay. So what did I get? I got a competence. That's that's fine. That's about the the value of the material. So we haven't lost any money in that case. No problem. So, let's do it again. But like I said, the, the goal is to see, is this worth it, yes or no? You know, I'm not saying do it. I'm not saying that this is a money-making scheme or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just investigating. Because I think a lot of people would be curious. Okay, confirm. Go. You see the results straight away, what it is. Nice, we got a water one. So that's good. 
So before, when you used to get these elemental ones, it used to be an absolute, effectively a disaster. Be like, oh no, I've just converted my materia into rubbish. But that's a win. But then again, I said it's 100% it's RNG. So we're going to see overall, is this gambling worth it? But like I said, you can increase your odds by using five materia, which are basically just not um, the elemental ones. So we vastly increase our chances of getting an elemental one. And I used to do this a lot to try and get the red ones, I remember. But piety, so that that's a loss. That's definitely, we've lost money that case. And the thing is for me, like, all these materia, I don't have any, any use for them. So they just sit there. They, they're sitting on effectively the alt retainer for the FC, you know what I mean? So I might as well uh, get on with them. And it's like, it would have taken them a really long time to sell them anyway, just because they are really not useful. Got that one. And there is absolutely no way to influence which one you get. It doesn't matter. There's no, any conspiracy theories, any whatever. It's literally, it's all crap. You have to just hope and pray. It's all RNG. So we've got another competence four. I guess that'll do. So mostly overall, I think overall so far we've um, gained money. So yeah. It's like I said, the only influence you have is simply the five you put in will not be one of the ones you get out. Simple as that. So, and they've done that on purpose because it would be stupid if it was. It would just be a case of why would I, why have I been given back one of the ones I put in and then lost the other four? It just wouldn't be fair, you know? So, and keep going. The red, Savage Might. Savage Mites are not worth, these used to be worth like 600k at one point. But they're really not worth much anymore. But I will investigate after to see how much money I've made or lost effectively. So, I mean, you, you're getting a... I think we're getting an impression that we are mostly, at this point, breaking even. But at least we're turning them in, into materials we can actually sell. That's the thing. Rather than just a bunch of material which will take forever to sell and you wouldn't get much money for them anyway. Okay, next. What do we get? We got a quick tongue. Ugh. Okay. So try again. Right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna record myself doing this because it'll take forever. But once I have finished rolling all the materia until the, there, I have ones which are more valuable. Let's say. Then we will continue and we'll see what the result is. And we can say yes or no. Was it worth it or was it not worth it? So when that's done, we will continue. Okay, so the result is in. Now we started with 254 materia. Let's assume that they cost or they're worth 10k each. So that would mean, what, two and a half million? About? In value, if I if I sold those like 250 crappy crappy materia for 10k a pop, then um, yeah, it would have been about two and a half, two, well, 2.54 million gil. So basically, all the material I've now refined, if it's not worth more or significantly more than two and a half, then the gambling wasn't worth doing. Now the thing is though, it's all RNG, so. Even if I get a super result, it doesn't mean I could say it's worth doing. I could just mean I was lucky this time. But let's see how much we've uh, made. So let's take a look at the material I got in return. I got, let me see, one ice, four wind, one earth, one water, two eye, four aim, three might, five of the gathering, one, I actually was really, I, I, to be honest, I was really lucky. I got three grade five materials out of it because like I said, there is a tiny, tiny chance when you put in five grade fours that you have a chance of getting a grade five. Also, like if you put in five grade threes, you have a chance of getting a grade four and so on. So I was very lucky and you also get an achievement with it. Um, so let me check the achievement that I got as proof that I got it. Here you go. Obtain a higher grade material through transmutation, and you can see it's the last, uh, latest achievement I got. So I can prove that I got it, that I didn't just have the spare or anything just to show off. So I got one grade five gathering. I got five uh, perception six, 
uh, 5 GP4, uh, 1 GP6, uh, 4 Craftsmanship 6s, 1 Cunning 4, 1 Cunning 5, so plus 6, and 5 Command 4s. So let's quickly calculate how much this haul is worth. So we went from 2.5 million of crappy materials, which are not worth as much and would be difficult to sell anyway, to this. So let's see what it's worth. So let's go on to a random retainer. And I am going to just sell them all for the gill. No need to keep any of this stuff. So let's see. Heaven's Eye is... They're about 8k each, so that's that's overall a loss. So let me just put those on sale. Uh, one. But we'll, t we'll keep a tally. So let's, let's assume 16k uh, so far. Okay. So 7... Oops. Seven nine nine one. So let me write this down so we can have a total at the end of the uh, of the episode. So sixteen k. Okay. Next, let us check the aims. I know that these would be worth the least, so that's why I'm doing them first. So thirteen. Let's assume fourteen k each. So fourteen times four twenty eight fifty six k. So that's right here, 56. I'm not going to add them up in my head because it'll, it'll be too long. I'll use a calculator. So let's list these. We won. Uh, uh. Oops, typed it wrong. I'm that dude that undercuts you on the market board by one gill. I'm sorry. I just am. Okay, and this is my ult. So I'm just going to leave these on sale. I'll, I'll check it in a couple of days, see if any of them sold. Okay, boom. Now, then Savage Mites. I can't believe that these used to be worth 600k, now they're worth 10. Rip. So I've got three of these, so that's 30k. So 30, writing it down. You can write it down with me just to make sure my calculation is right. So 9999. But I'm, I'm rounding it off for the sake of making it um, easier to calculate. Boom. And boom. Okay, so that's those. Next. Ice. What's ice worth? 44k. Nice. So let's do 44k for one ice four. So 43. Nine. And I'm sure people will be like, oh, why don't you just save the money and, you know, use them for your own relic? It's because I am a very, very far, long way away from the that part of the relic quest. So that's why I'll just sell these for now. So one earth is 69k. The 69k. We're now 69. So uh, 6, 8, 9, 9, 9. Right, next. Wind. What is wind worth? 70, let's say 75k. Times by 4. 300k. So let's say 300. Nice, nice, nice. So that's definitely worth it. But like I said, guys, um, when it came to trading the materia in, just make sure that you put in five random ones. Like, don't put five of the same unless you only have five of the same left. Because uh, I had, for example, tons of vitalities, so eventually I had to just put five vitalities. Because if you put five random ones in, then you increase your... You basically will increase your chance of not getting those back, basically, of those five. Which means that you can only then get from the pool of the remaining ones, including all the elementals, essentially. Which was really the aim, even though we ended up with lots of crafting and gathering material, which was nice. And then, okay, water material four is worth, let's say, 43k. So write that down, 43k. So, 4, 2, 3, 4. <coughs> pardon me now what i like about this is the fact that we're also this is kind of like spring cl spring cleaning in a way so rather than holding all of these worthless materia i am now getting rid of them but also as materia which will more likely sell than materia which will just take forever to sell and not make me any money so okay so now these are worth 40k a pop and i've got five of them which means 200k so 200k and remember, let's assume that each and one of these materials was 10k each. So let's assume I invested two and a half million of my own money into this. So it's basically to, to check your return on this investment. Okay. 
Right, so let's do it. I d uh, I'll be honest, I do enjoy this, and I'm sure if you watch the video this far, you enjoy it as well. Like, seeing all this potential money coming in. And But this is, like I said, this is gambling. This is like, it's not always going to pay off. But, to be honest though, you probably will make a decent penny from this, given that most of the material are worth more than the ones that you're gambling. So, um, and again, 40k, cool. Now, uh, let's go on to the special items, shall we? This um, grade 5 gathering material, this is going to be worth a lot. So this is worth... Oh! <laughs> okay. 1.15 million. So let's do it. So 1, 1, 4, 9... God, I can't remember the price. What's really good is that you can just press it again. Okay. Nine, eight, nine. But I guess it shows. I make sure that it's six digits before. So yeah, million. So yep. So pff, that's like just that one material on its own. It was worth half of the two hundred and fifty materials that materials we gambled. Right. So let's do this one now. Okay. Guiles are worth twenty-three k each, and we have five of them. So one hundred and fifteen k. So let's write one hundred and fifteen. Right, so 22, 8, 9, 9, and guys, I'm letting you watch this entire process of listing them all for sale because that's why we're doing this, you know, that that's, it's to make money, that's it, so, and the thing is though, like, all this money, I could then use it, when I need materia, then I will use, I will just get those material back. I'll buy the ones I need. I don't have a need to store them, you know what I mean? So, okay, now, three of these, and they're worth 40k each. So, 120. So, let's write down. 120. So, three. Now, in this situation, look, there's a stack of 20, and but the singles are, are being sold for 40k. So, I will still put it at 3999 because simply... People might want to just buy one, not um, not 20, basically. There's no need to under undercut a stack of 20. Okay, so we can put it for the same price. Boom. Now, grade 5 grasp. What's this one worth? 700k. <laughs> okay. So, let's write down. 700. Now, actually... What you can do in this situation, this one for 700 will sell first, obviously. So you can actually undercut the second place one. So I, I'll actually do that. I'll say 749. So I'm going to undercut the second place one, not the first place. So 748999. If I can type 748999 or 8999. Wow, I'm such a bad typer. There you go. So that's 749k. Next, uh, competence fours. What are these worth? These are worth. Uh, they're worth um, 44 and a half. Okay, 44 and a half. We have four of them, so uh, 89, 89, 89 times two is 178. Is that right? Let's get out the trusty old calculator. Let's take a look. So, 44.5 times 4 is 178. Yep, I was right. So, let's write down 178k. Cool. So, 178k. So, 44499. 444.99. Cool. And the thing is as well, like, I'm actually paying the money or the subscription to have eight retainers and I've got three characters, so I have got a lot of selling power on the market board. And the good thing about Sargatanis, about this server basically, is that there's, it's a very, very, the market is very active, very alive, so a lot of this stuff will sell hopefully within a week. Um, now Cunning 4 is 135. And remember, guys, if you go back and do the max level um, Exali, 
dailies, just the max level ones, the ones that are the highest rank, um, you can get a, you can get free grade four crafting materials. And I would suggest getting one of each because uh, I think for one of the quests you can only get a competence, for one of the quests you can only get a command and a, a cunning, and for one of them you can only get a whatever. But basically, you can get one of each each day. So I would say get one of each each day. The quests really don't take long if you've done them before. And you could just um, pocket apparently a quarter of a million every single day just doing the Xali quests. So that's another guild tip for you. So one, three, four, four, nine, nine. Hang on. I completely tied that wrong. Okay, one, three, five, four, nine, nine. Okay, so we, but we've wrote it down as one, three, five K for this one. Now this one, Cunning 5. This is, should hopefully be worth a lot. 723k. Nice. So 723k. So 7, 2, 2, 9, 9, 9. Now the thing is, I know by making this video that I'm going to make even the worthless material worth something on every server. That's just how it is, you know, like everyone's going to buy every cheap material there is, try and gamble them to get the much better ones. And I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing because it will help the people who are selling junk material by making them their money. It will also get rid of all the junk material from the market because they just won't be, they're not really needed right now. And it will flood the market with useful material, which people need, which will then lead to lots of undercutting, which will then bring the price down, which is good for the consumers. So by me sharing these things, whatever, it's not just about me showing off like, look how much money I've made. It's about helping the economy of the game. Okay, so these are 140k each. So 140 times five is what, 700k? 700 i mean we can quickly check yeah, simply i could just list 140 oh well yeah let's just do list 140 and let's just click 700k yep so 700 nice so i'm gonna do seven three nine 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 eight you may free on the cut by one girl sorry i can't help myself i just have to have all that monies now the thing is though, it's coming to the end of the weekend, so these, if these, like I said, these might take a week to sell. The best time to sell, at least on this server, is the weekend, <laughs> for obvious reasons. But I'm going to just leave them on there, I'll check or re every couple of days, and just, just adjust the prices. Okay, so sell. Boom. These are other material that I had for sale anyway. So I'm going to have to already adjust these prices, because, um, yeah, basically... But in the space of an hour, they've already been undercut by, like, 9k. These are just spare material I had in the FC, basically, that I'm selling. So, um, all this money will basically just go... Personally, it will just go into my FC bank. You know, I don't really have a need for personal cash. But, yeah. So, that's it. So, 135, 199. Okay, 135, It's amazing that I was actually... I've actually already undercut myself. I'll do it the same as my other retainer. Boom, 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 and boom. Oh, right. So that's it, guys. That's uh, that's the um, gambling for Mutamix. Now, um, like I said, guys, we're gonna see. So let's see. We've turned. Let's see. So we start with two. 2.54 million. That's how much we invested. So assuming we bought all those material. 2.54 million. So let's use our trusty calculator and let's add up all the money we've made. So 16k plus 56k plus 30k plus 44k plus 69k plus 300 plus um what's that? I can't read my own writing. 43k plus 200 plus 1.15 million, plus uh, 115k, plus 120k, plus 700k, plus 178k, plus 135k, plus 723k, plus 700k. So, net result is 4.579 million. So overall profit, 2 million. So, is gambling material worth it? My answer is basically no. And I tell you why. 
even though in this case I've made 2 million profit, but I got free grade 5 materials. The chances of getting those are infinitely small. I was incredibly lucky to get those. And those make up most of my profit, if not even all of my profit, in fact, because um, when you say 700k, 700k, 1.4, 2.5 million profit just from those free grade 5 materials um, and my overall profit is 2 million so um, yeah I've basically if it wasn't for those grade 5 materials I actually wouldn't have made a profit I would have just broken even so if anything gambling materia is a way to like I said recycle junk materia into useful materia makes it more likely to sell and so on, get the cash into the bank rather than holding on to lots of worthless materia. But is it worth doing as a way of making money? The answer is no. From my opinion. Only my opinion, guys. But if it is it worth it to sell materia and get useful materia and so on and so on? Yes, it is. So you make up your own choices, guys. It's all RNG. It's all based on RNG, Jesus, let's say. But, <clears throat> you know... Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below, if anything I could add to this uh, theory and experiments. But I just wanted to share with you guys, and we can say I did a really good trial with this, because I used 250 materia. It's not like I went in with 10 and then tried to make up some theories. I used 250 materia, I made 2 million profit, but it was 100% the luck of the grade 5 materials. It wasn't from the rest. So if I hadn't have got those grade 5 materials, then I wouldn't have made a profit overall. So... Anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Ori. Bye guys.